Take your wheel off. The brake pad sensor is missing on this van. Now I'm hammering a screwdriver in between the brake pad and the rotor in order to spread the piston open. And then I'm using my quarter inch ratchet and Torx bit to remove the bolt holding the rotor on. Remove the bolts holding your caliper on. Use an external Torx bit to remove the brake pad sensor connector. Remove your caliper. Remove the bolts holding on your caliper bracket. A ratcheting wrench may come in handy because the leaf spring gets in the way and makes for a very tight clearance. Now that your caliper bracket is removed, take your rotor off and install the new rotor. Reinstall the little bolt holding the rotor in place. Do not use Loctite on this bolt. Do not use a ton of force when tightening it. You don't want it super tight and they are very easy to strip. Reinstall your caliper bracket bolts. I like to put one bolt in partially while I Loctite the other one. And then I partially install the bolt I put the Loctite on. I then remove the first bolt to put Loctite on it. Only then do I tighten everything down. I use orange Loctite because I like the way it tastes. Now reinstall your brake pads. You may need new brake hardware, but if it isn't damaged, I always use the original brake hardware. It's been broken in and fits best in most cases. Here you see me taking out the caliper pins so I can clean them and re-grease them. I always use silicone grease on the caliper pins. Links in the description below. Now I reinstall the caliper pins and reinstall the caliper. Make sure you use Loctite on your caliper bolts. Don't forget to reinstall the bolt holding on the brake pad sensor. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Different ways to support the YouTube Mechanic Project are by buying me a coffee using the link in the description below. You can also use my affiliate links. For this job, most people are going to be missing Torx bits and external Torx bits. Keep an eye up the hill, guys.